my name is Andreas Agostin and I'm going to demonstrate redundant Fisco to you. This is our foundation fill bus panel with our redundant Fisco solution. This is the redundant Fisco power supply. It consists of a carrier for four segments and the respective number of Fisco power supplies and arbitration modules mounted onto the carrier board. Each segment consists of two Fisco power supplies and two supply arbitration modules. The supply arbitration modules make sure that at any point of time only one Fisco power supply is actually providing power to the segment. This makes sure that redundant Fisco complies with the intrinsically safe standard. Here we see that supply number A is in the active mode and supply number B is in the standby mode. We have a mega block connected on segment number 2. Connected to this mega block is a field bus tester and two foundation field bus instruments. One foundation field bus instrument is a field bus display, so it can display foundation field bus values that can come from any device. This is linked to a temperature multiplexer device. This can measure eight temperature values and represents one foundation field bus device. We have channel number one connected and we simulate a temperature using a potentiometer which is displayed on our display. We see there is a link established between the temperature multiplexer and our display. Removing the TI will cause the display to fail and the FPT6 to indicate a drop of the device. After the TI boots, the display comes back with an actual value. The display failing will of course power off the whole display so that it is very easy to identify a failure of this device as well. What I am now going to do is to cause a switch over of the Fisco power supplies. In order to do this, we press the failover button on the supply arbitration module and we see module number A turns over into standby mode, module number B goes into active mode. Okay. So causing the failover from A to B does not cause the display to fail, that means communication simply continues. Removing the power supply module does not cause a failure of our communication. Plugging it back does not cause any failure either. Even removing the active power supply will not cause a drop of any device. It was demonstrated that even switch over or a failing fiscal power supply does not cause the segment to fail, a device drop off or to show any other kind of malfunction.